Hey my friends, thanks for joining me here today at my channel. I'm Holly and this is actually a wrecked straight pour. I was not remembering that correctly when I made that title on the front screen. So I'm layering up my cup and I have 24K gold, artist flow white or artist loft white, excuse me. I have a few custom blended colors. I do have Arteza Prussian green, Arteza lime green, that's a pearl lime green color. I have Arteza pearl amaranth and pearl tangerine. I also have a custom blended pink and my warm colors by Arteza, I did modify a little bit. And I also have a limey type of green, which was custom blended. I do modify a lot of my paint color shades because oftentimes when I go in to create a painting, I have very specific color shades in mind. And when that is the case, I will find a base in a tube color that's pretty close. And then I will blend other colors with it to create what I want in my imagination. So if you have not been experimenting yet with mixing colors, I recommend it. It really will open up what you can really do and create and help you achieve more of what you're really after if you have a specific coloring theme in mind. So here I'm just putting some of this 24K gold down on the corners because I am hoping that some cells are going to pop through in this area that will be gold. A lot of times this has not worked for me but upon occasion it does. It seems to work a little more readily for other artists that I've seen and I suspect higher humidity levels in my home may be playing a part in that but occasionally I do get them popping through. Now look at that paint coming out of the cup. It's really pretty. I really like those colors. So you can see here that this is mainly a straight pour. I am changing the angles and yes, I do wiggle it a few times. So it's not a hardcore straight pour at those moments, but I never take it into the ring circling motion. So look at those beautiful fingerlings there. And there was a couple times I was about to end the pour, but then decided to let a little bit more come out of the cup based on what I was seeing coming forth. So look at this. I've already created a lot of very interesting textures and flows just in the way I handled that pour. Now I'm just centering this paint puddle just a little bit. I'm not really going in for a full tilt at this point, just trying to get this a little more situated on the canvas. My work surface is not level and although I do use the hooks in the back and I can screw some in further and leave some out further and I do always check my canvases with a level but for some reason, even though I do all of that, I sometimes will still get what appears like a, a little bit of a too much of a tilt in one direction and my puddle will start to travel. It's been a little frustrating. I haven't been able to fully overcome the tilt on the counters. I think it, it might have been back when they built the house. They might not have been as attentive to those details or the house may have just settled over time, which is probably more the case. So there I'm coming in with my first Rex. I really enjoy wrecking. I do get a little nervous about it sometimes because a lot of times I've had it really make magic on my canvas, but sometimes it has really turned out to be the thing that ruined a painting that might've otherwise been good. 
I think a lot of it just depends on what the outcome really would have been within the puddle, which you can kind of get an idea of it from that initial pour, but sometimes you really don't fully know what is going to emerge until you open it up. So sometimes it's just within the puddle itself that either works with wrecking it or doesn't. Uh, another factor is is just the way you create the wrecks. Sometimes I've just not done a good job of that and other times I have and the outcomes have been very beautiful when I've done a good job and not so great when I haven't. So let me know in the comments below if you've had experiences with that that are similar or anything else you'd like to share. I love to hear from you and while you're at it consider subscribing and clicking the bell if you do enjoy my content. So here I'm going to actually start stretching this out now and because I do have these shapes that I have wrecked into the pour, I want to really make sure I'm tilting very slowly and in a very controlled manner because I'd really like to keep as much of the integrity there as I possibly can. Look at those beautiful cells opening up in that kind of front center area with the pink. It's sort of cells, I guess. Very pretty. Looks like I'm not going to get to keep them though. Don't you hate that when you get all these beautiful things going on, but they're just too close to the edges and uh, <laughs> you can't keep them. But that is part of the reality of acrylic pouring fluid art my friends as i'm sure you probably know if you've been doing your own artworks i say if you have because a lot of the viewers that watch these videos are already pouring and a lot of people are just getting going with even just the preliminary stages of just watching videos to get an idea of how to go about doing it so I'm really loving the shapes that I'm seeing emerging on this canvas at this point. It's very unusual. This is not something I've probably ever really seen from a wrecked straight pour or a ring pour or really anything. It's, it's highly unusual and I really, really like what I am seeing. It's very, very interesting. Let me know how it lands for you. Of course, I'm always interested to hear your perspectives and what you see into it or how things land for you. Look at that. So that painting that's over to the right, that was the one that I had done earlier in the day and I actually already have posted the video on that painting. I posted that, gosh, probably months and months ago. I'm finally just getting to editing the footage for the series that I did last March in 2021. So I'm finally getting to that now. I started in March of 2022 and going into April now as I'm editing this one. So I'm very, very, very pleased with how this is turning out. I absolutely love the flows. I love the coloring. I love that beautiful corally type pinky color with those beautiful greens. I love those, I don't know, kind of flamey looking shapes. That's kind of toward the back now. Um, and they have a little bit of a white outline to them. I mean, this isn't the best view at this point of that, but there we can see it a little bit better from this angle. So now that would be over to the right on that corner, those beautiful little flamey type shapes with that white outline. So pretty. And there we see uh, there's a few gold cells starting to pop up in that green corner. And it looks like there are even more starting to develop. And touching up the corners by picking up some of the drippings off of the table. Now remember my friends, if you're gonna do that, you wanna really get the edge of that spoon or even like, a, you could use like an old credit card or business card that someone has. Of course, a business card won't hold up all that long doing this, but you wanna be able to have something with a fairly thin edge that you can really just scoop underneath the edge of the paint 
uh, the edge, uh, the, you know, the, the paint puddles that have dripped down at the bottom because you want to be able to leave the integrity of each color as it's sitting on your, your pouring surface so that you can drizzle it across those corners and have it still have all of those differentiation of colors just like you would if it had come out of the cup from the pour. If you are not very careful with how you scoop those drippings up, you could end up really blending them together and making them more of a sol more solid type of color, which is going to be probably something a little more in the neutral family and might not really blend with your painting as well as you might be aiming for. So look at that, I really love that. It is so pretty and so unique and so unusual. I'm really, really liking the outcome of this. It was not at all what I had in mind, but I absolutely love what has unfolded here. So this is a very happy surprise. <laughs> Oftentimes when a painting in this type of artwork does not go the way we envision, it's sometimes very disappointing. Sometimes it's also just really wonderful, a beautiful surprise, just like this one is here. Now, when I say when they don't go as we plan, well, they never probably really go exactly as we plan because it is fluid art after all, and part of it is uncontrollable. Part of it is manageable. And the more we practice and the more we fine tune our skills, the better we get at it, the more we start to understand what we can expect from the paint and the process but there are still elements of surprise. So here we are close up. Look at all of these beautiful, beautiful lines and flows. I am so thrilled with how this has turned out. What's your take on it? Let me know in the comments below. So pretty. Look at those gold cells. All right, well, thank you for being here. I look forward to seeing you back around my channel again soon. Have a good one.